That'd be one of the first games that <laughs> okay. I'd want to I'd want to grab. Seems to be working is now. Is Fable Two? Because I've been. Hello, everyone. Uh, sorry about the little bit of a delayed start there. The my mic was acting real funny, but it's okay. Everything seems to be working now, so we are we are good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I <laughs> I really hope nothing ends up uh, breaking or going horribly horribly wrong. But it seems as though everything is is good. So you know, uh, uh, good vibes and all that stuff. But yeah, 18 minutes late. Uh, actually, sir, I started the stream up like. Uh, I don't know how long ago. <laughs> Eight minutes ago? Okay, so I was like ten minutes late. Yeah. <laughs> Nine minutes ago. There you go. Nine, ten, close enough. Close enough. Anyways, hi everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope you're all doing okay. Rue, uh, uh, I almost said my own name. <laughs> Nate, Optijack, Noodle, anybody else that's just uh, hanging out in chat or whatever. Hello everyone. Thank you for being here. This game, this game, I've actually really been wanting to play this game ever since I've gotten it. I hope it's good. It's a city builder, um, which is, man, that mustache is a little iffy. Yeah, you're not kidding. Um, but it's a city builder game, but published by Natsume, who published the, uh, the, the Harvest Moon games, which I loved, and made by a, uh, indie company. I'm, well, I mean, I think that was their name was indie. But anyways... Uh, so yeah, I just, I like city builder games, and I've never played a Japanese city builder that I can think of, so I'm hoping it's good. It looks pretty decent, but I guess we'll find out. Glad to see you all made it. Today, you'll begin your training as a town builder. As I'm sure you're aware, a town builder's role is to completely support town residents. Residents will develop the town how they see fit. However, if we leave it up to them, the town will never grow to suit the needs of every individual resident. That's where you come in. First, you'll learn the basics of town building. Well, as soon as you get out into the field, I'll give you a call. I'm sure you'll have nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, before you leave, you need an MM license. All right then, good luck. Uh, what? What is what is an MM license? I I can hardly keep my driver's license. Um, <laughs> an island paradise surrounded by rocky mountains, the Blue Lagoon. Okay. Oh dude, I don't even want to change anything. I think this dude looks perfect the way he is. <laughs> he looks so just <laughs> he looks so just not into it man like he's just done with life and everything about it like she looks happy he does not <laughs> not even a little bit he's just like why the fuck am I here why do I have to deal with this bullshit <laughs> I like it Honestly, man, I think I, I think I just kind of want to keep it. I mean, okay, so there's a happy face. Oh, that one's even worse. He's actually, like, got a frown going on there. That's a true just meh face. Happy face. Uh, why are you giving me those please daddy eyes? Um, that's a little sinister looking. I don't trust you. You just look angry. Yeah, dude, for real, like, we're going... <laughs> we're, not, we're just keeping the default. For sure. Are these settings okay? Name and sex. Metropolis Maker? Wait, I can't... I can't set my own name. Valid until next game? Okay. Sure. I guess. I guess... I guess... I guess our name is Metropolis Maker, man. Call from boss. Uh, do we answer or ignore? <laughs> we'll answer. Your friend's Wi-Fi sucks? Can you, I don't know if Rue can hear or not, but everyone tell Rue I said hello, and I'm sorry their friend's Wi-Fi sucks. If they can't hear, that is. Have you arrived at your first site? This is just the corner of the map. Are you surprised nothing's on the map? We've got a town to build. To build a good town, it's important to set up the roads with newly incoming residents in mind. So you mean I can't just like run them straight into the ocean or something? Set up roads to organize blocks. Should you explain how to, sure, whatever. Da, 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 da. First, open the item menu with square, then pick road construction. Push the left analog sticks toward the item, then press X. Holy fuck. I, <laughs> it's maybe just a little too granular here. Like, 
uh, they're giving like very detailed instructions here. Uh, so press X where you want to build a road. Okay. Would you like me to repeat these instructions? Please, no, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Just like me to, uh, okay, let's try, sure. So we got email, we got a mobile phone, we got road construction, and we got saves, hello. So road construction. Uh, I'm assuming I can't build, yeah, okay, can't build it in the water. We got this nice little plot of land here though. Let's, uh, let's, uh, Hold on, boss. I ain't done yet. Oh shit. Never mind. I guess I am done. Okay. What you what what you want to tell me, bro? You need to be careful though. You don't want to build too many roads. Oh, and you can even lay roads through forests and rivers. Make sure to connect roads over rivers and sea to land. Once we've laid the roads, the next thing is to attract residents. Attract means you'll check mail from people who want to move in and select the building site to walk up by. I don't think that's what attract means. You might need to get yourself a dictionary, boss man. You decide where they move in. You should set buildings so they connect to the roads you just made. Shall I explain about the application list? Nah, bruh. I'm sure we got it. Talk to me again when the first resident moves in. Okay. Be sure not to place too many roads. I refuse. Do we have, like, a budget? Wait. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna fucking... I thought it was just gonna be stuck like that forever. Uh, okay, so we can we can do this. Let's just let's just build a big fucking square, dude. Why not? Fucking country sticks Wi-Fi. I wouldn't suggest fucking it, but I mean, hey, what do I know? Oh, oh, okay. We got all kinds of people, dude. A noodle bar. Let's get the noodle bar in here. Hello, my name is Ethan H. Chang. I'd really like to move to this town. He's 64 years old. He has a noodle bar. It's a fine restaurant. He has two family members. Yeah, of course I want your noodle bar here, man. That's going to be like the centerpiece of the town. You second the noodle bar? Hell yeah, noodles for days, man. Let's go. Um. Okay, so we got you, and then let's get a, a family in here, I guess. Employee home with stair with loft. Oh, a bookshop too? I just want to get all the shops in here. I don't even want the rest of them. <laughs> no, let's... uh. Get Elton Dennis. Why not? Uh, congratulations, Elton. You can live. Uh, our, we're going to be a mixed zoning law uh, area, okay? There's going to be, like, homes right next to businesses and shit. Because fuck if I care. Anyways, there we go. There we are. Okay. We got, we got the stuff here. Now, do we just wait? Or do we have to do anything? We have the mobile phone. Do, do, do they move in on their own? I thought they did. Oh, there we go. Dennis family, the Chang noodle bar. <laughs> Bruh. I'm so excited. Let's see it. I want to see what it looks like. Can we, like, zoom out or anything? Oh. Oh. I don't like that. So, wait. You can walk forward and backwards with the D-pad, but pressing left and right just rotates the cameras like a motherfucker. <laughs> What is that about? Hey, boss. What you got to say? Have any residents come to the town yet? Yeah. Then be sure to introduce yourself and get to know them well. Shall I explain how to communicate? No, man. Yeah, no. It'll be fine. Well, good luck. I mean, you just, you just like, go up and, and knock on people's doors, right? That's how you communicate? Oh. <laughs> I think it worked. Uh, Karna Dennis. Hi. I know you. What's your name? Let me tell you my name. Wait, I know you. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> okay. The settings in the top. Oh, you're, you're explaining how to get into audio only mode. E -A -M. I am a stream song. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Oh, good name. Nice to meet you stream. I hope you build us a safe town to live in. I hope you keep the town safe by not being assholes and raging, raging delinquents, <laughs> raising delinquent children in my town. I hope you build us a huge town. Oh, he wants it huge. She just wants it nice. Uh, gossip. Can I, uh, nothing like a crisp morning to start off the day. 
I really don't know anyone else. I've been watching TV since this morning. <laughs> well, then goodbye. Well, goodbye to you too, bitch. You have to introduce yourself. You have to interact with people. Yeah, dude, that's part of life, you know? Hold on, boss. I want to talk to Chang. I want to go to the noodle bar. Ah, you're fucking annoying, dude. Do you understand how building roads are allocating people and conversations work? Communicate properly with the residents. Listen to what they have to say. And before you know it, you'll have 200 people. Two fucking hundred? For real? Oh, dude. I can only hope to have that many someday. Uh, hi, Ethan H. Chang. Good to meet you, stream. Make our town shine. Like, literally shine? Ooh, can I eat you? What would you like? Uh, oh, dude, we got, like, all kinds of money. Just give me some, uh, nabiyaki udon, vegetable udon, tempura soba, or just kake. Let's just get, let's just get some, some vegetable soba, or udon, I mean. Would you like A-N vegetable soup udon? <laughs> oh, God. Anything else? I've got lots. No, I'm good. Thank you, man. It was good, I think. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope you'll build us a safe town to live in. You're a shameless woman? You fucking hus uh, uh, shameless woman? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello there? Uh, talk. May I help you? Uh, gossip with me, please. In times of bad business, I'm reminded of the ebb and flow of the tides and how this reflects our lives. Very cool. Alright then, goodbye. It seems as though you might have to lack chat tonight because it helps. You mean like not chatting helps? That sucks. Uh, I don't think we need more roads. We have plenty of roads. Let's get some more people moving in here, though. Let's do let's do that, shall we? Sean Fuller, uh, Chinese noodle bar. Ooh, a pub, takeout lunch. We should probably get just like more normal residents in here. Although you know what, a bookshop. We need, people need a place to shop, man, if they're going to be here. I feel like, oh, can we get you, like, across the road, maybe? There we go. Let's get you across the road. And then, why are these ones blue? Oh, that can't be deleted. So that must be, like, tutorial stuff. And then this must be, like, the new stuff or something. Okay. Okay. So let's uh let's get some of these these uh let's get some elderly dude in here someone who can just spend some money you know uh duke masias masias property elderly home wooden family members too all right let's get get you in here and you know what you're probably going to want to eat lots of noodles so i'm going to stick you literally right next to the noodle shop you need to sack the citizens to cthulhu bro i'm not sacrificing my citizens man they are my dear dear friends while we're here, though, is there anything else? Okay, so we got first-person view. That's neat, I suppose. Oh, I see things happening over... Oh, that must be, like, the people that want to move in over on the left. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wow, we can, like, really zoom out. Okay, let's, uh... Honestly, though, let's, like, zoom out a little bit. Even though this top-down view is a little bit weird. Your friend is watching, and he mentioned that his Wi-Fi sucks at night, so bleh. That sucks, man. Just that the, the Wi-Fi sucks at night. I mean, like, <laughs> that's for me. That's when I mostly use the internet at my house, you know? After I get home from work and I just want to watch videos and, and take a nap or whatever. Like, bruh, that's rough. Hello, stream. Oh, I hope you'll build us a town with plenty of shops. I'm working on it. I like shops, too, uh, Mr. Duke. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope your town will be good for shopping. They both just want lots of... See, they just want to spend all their fucking money, dude. So we just need... We just need to... Oh, look at that. He's already going to Chang's Noodle Bar. Let's get them some more fucking shops in here, man. Let's go. These people need places to spend their money. Um, Wait, didn't we already put in a bookshop? Why is it, why is it still showing up here? I don't know. It's fine. People need fruit and vegetables. My name is Goro Spring. It's a weird name. Sounds like a place. Uh, anyways, I'm, I, I kind of like just building up this little center here. So we're going to put it like here ish. Actually, you know what? It's going to be a nice like water side noodle shop place thing or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll just put it like right there. 
fruit and veg shop, you know? Right right on the corner there. We probably should have put, like, the seafood shop in there. Oh, dude, the seafood shop will fit right there. Look at that. It's, like, literally in the water. That's perfect. And then, oh, dude, pizza parlor? I'm so tempted to just, like, fill the entire place up with food. But no, let's get let's get some more elderly people. The elderly people seem nice, you know what I mean? Let's, uh, let's get a little bit of, like, an elderly community going on over there. Get, like, two of them together. There you go. That way, that way, all the elderly people have like people to talk to. I want to go to the bookshop though. Hey, Artie. Hello, stream. Oh, I hope you'll build us a town with plenty of shops. I plan on it. Yellow pages are important. You can register your friend's number in it. A must-have item for any successful metropolis maker. Shop. What can I do for you? Yellow pages. Business book. Women's magazine. Sports magazine. Can I actually like do anything with this stuff, or does it just like? increase my relationship with them huh i don't know it didn't seem to do anything but whatever it says i can do something with it later uh can, can you gossip with me bro like which way is less a full moon or a half moon the full moon because it's lighter <laughs> what <laughs> i think Lighter? The full moon's brighter, not lighter. I mean, I guess, you know, lighter too. I don't know, whatever. Uh, hope the town will be good for shopping. I mean, yeah, that's that's the goal, Lucy. What do you, do you have terrible jokes to get me? This economic depression is bad for business. Nagi wants to be independent and open a taxation office. That's cool. Okay, so wait, so is that the introduction mechanic? So like, did they just introduce me to Nagi? Yeah, Bo. They're 47 years old. They have a taxation office. It's an office building. Oh no! I just said, fuck off, Nagi. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I wanted to let him move in. I really did, I promise. I don't know what happened. How did I delete it? I clicked it. I don't I don't know what I did. I'm so sorry. Uh your your friends seemed very nice, but um I apparently told them to fuck off, so my bad. Oops. So this is the seafood store right in the water like that. Like it don't get no fresher, dude. Um okay, they kind of got like a bunch of concrete under them though, but like it's fine. It's fine. Rude. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, did the game break already, or did they just not, like, is it not business hours right now or something? Maybe, I think maybe they just didn't, like, spawn in yet. Good to meet you, stream. Make our town shine. Today's special is a horse mackerel. What would you like? Uh, bluefin tuna horse mackerel pacific, sorry, sardines. I'm not buying anything right now, because, like, I don't really know what that stuff's for. But, like, I'll gossip with you a little bit. Y'all see the new Disney game? I heard of it, but I haven't watched it yet. There isn't enough parking. Oh, shit. <laughs> Saying I didn't like your friend was kind of bad for business, huh? Didn't, uh, didn't like that too much, hey, buddy? It's all right. Anyways, I heard it's basically Kingdom Hearts without any of the Final Fantasy in it, which kind of sucks, but kind of sounds neat at the same time. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope your town will be good for shopping. Everybody just wants shopping. That's all everybody's talking about. You've got cabbage? Dude, let's buy a fucking cabbage. Right fucking now. Where's this premium melon? Holy shit. Bro, this bitch lied to me. She... She told me they had cabbage. I see radish. I see carrot. I see potato. I see a premium fucking melon. But no cabbage. I'm very disappointed in you. I wish I could kick you out of my fucking town. That is, that is not acceptable. All right, let's get some more people moved in here. Uh, let's get you there. Those guys want like some parking. So like, I would love to give them some parking, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, my streets are going to be all fucked up and I don't even care. It's like, I'm going to put you there. And then, like, I feel like putting someone here. And then... Oh, no, not you. I already did you. And then Mr. Sean Fuller. You can go, like, there. 
And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go into the road pool. Oh, we can jump. Fancy. And then I'm gonna put like a road here and here and then like down here. Why? I don't know. Does that make sense? Probably not. And then just for the hell of it, we're gonna like come over here and then go down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, this layout's fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. It's funny. Which, I don't know the name of it. I don't remember, Nate. So I remember I remember uh, seeing it, like I said, but that's that's it. Beyond that, I do not know. Uh, how do I exit out of here? I forget. I, I just, like, got calls every other time. But yeah, no, I really did. I just saw like the the announcement for it or whatever, and that was that was it basically. Um, so yeah, I kind of meant to bring you like down a little bit farther, TBH. So what if we do like? I guess we could do like that, right? And then just bring. No, you know what? Just fucking just bring the road down there. Whatever. What do I care, right? Oh, they got like a door out back of their house too. Sorry, you're about to be like right up against somewhere else. Someone else, I mean. That whole door you have in the back? Yeah, it's de dead. Like, <laughs> good luck using that again. Hi, stream. Hi, uh, tiny girl. Why are... Where are your parents? Hope you build a wonderful town. I'll try. Hi, stream. Make us a cool town, okay? Stardew Valley? <laughs> Looks interesting. The announcement you saw was Disney meets Stardew Valley. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't watch the whole trailer even. I just watched, like, saw a bit of it. Um, and saw someone saying that it was, like, Kingdom Hearts without the... Uh, without the fun parts. The, <laughs> sorry, the Final Fantasy parts. Um, so yeah, I don't really, like I said, I don't really know anything else about it at the moment. Do you remember the name of it? Did you say it and I just forgot? Or missed it, or whatever. Because I am curious to see more of it. Because, like, the uh, the artwork that I saw looked pretty cool. At least. Um. One sec, you looking it up? Okay. Take your time, man. Absolutely no rush. I just realized that one of my timers... Well, okay, it might be working. I don't know. Whatever. Demi Clark. Hello, Demi. Nice to meet you, stream. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, you're a gossip queen and a housewife. Hope you build us a safe town to live in. I can try. Um, I hear you're the gossip queen. This weather is for daydreaming. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Good luck building our town. Thank you, man. You seem like a nice little dude. Uh, good luck building our town. You're literally just copying your brother, but whatever. That's fine. You seem you seem nice, too. The Fuller family? Apparently, they're not home. So, we'll have, to, we'll have to introduce them later. Hi, Sean Fuller. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope you'll make us a nice place to live. I feel like everybody in this town says the same damn thing. It's you again. Yes. It is. The moon sure is bright tonight. Maybe I'll go out for a walk. Disney Dreamlight Valley. You screenshotted it. I mean, no wonder it reminded you of Stardew Valley with a name like that, man. Holy hell. Okay, so, like, our thing down in the corner looks like some sort of happiness meter. The, the face looks happy, but the bar is, like, very low. Is the bar being low a good thing or a bad thing? Get pumped and build that town. Uh, you don't have to tell me twice, man. Hi, Jody. I hope you'll make us a safe town. I'm gonna try. If I met everyone, I think I've met everyone. Except for you. You haven't moved in yet. You sure are taking a long time. Can't even get this to say. Sorry, guys. Looks like I'm like, uh, you're out for the night. No problem, Rue. Thank you for uh, trying, at least. I appreciate it. And you have a good night. You're mad because I didn't finish my coffee? Look, I basically finished it. All right. I drank all of it that I wanted to drink. <laughs> no more, no less. 
Um, this is going to be like a dead end there. Like that. I think we're going to do it like that, man. Yeah. Or you know what? I could take it back one more. Can I like... Is there a delete? Is there a... Can I can I like tear it off? Tear it up, I mean. Like I wanna I wanna get rid of it now. I changed my mind, I don't like this <laughs> location. Uh, someone help. I need an adult. Okay, whatever. The average age is 40, so people are pretty old around here. 66% is residential, 16% is amenities. I have no idea. Build a town with more than 200 people. You need 174 people to reach the target. Oh damn, so we just need to like build it up, man. Just keep fucking going. That was actually the caption you kept thinking, Disney X Animal Crossing. So I'll have to, I'll have to go watch the video for it at some point or whatever, because it does sound interesting, right? Oh, I can, I can mobile phone residents? That's not creepy. I would, I would be very upset if the mayor of my town just randomly started calling me, especially in the middle of the night like this, you know? Why are you still under construction? Is it because... Is it because it's the middle of the night? Do you not want to? Do you not want to build your home in the middle of the night? Because like, I mean, that's reasonable, honestly. I can I can understand that. Elderly home. Uh, the elderly get to live over here. They get they get special treatment. And then let's get a uh, a pizza parlor. Everyone needs a fucking back alley pizza parlor. So, yeah, bro, go right in there. So are these going to grow or is not because it's the middle of the night? I mean, it's reasonable for them to not grow in the middle of the night. TBH. Oh, why are you green? Hello? You are, you are, oh, you're a little hungry. You're sleeping. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> okay, so they're hungry. So I'm assuming that means to get the fuck out of first person mode. So that means they probably want more food stuff in town. Which I, I am happy to provide. In fact, I've already put another pizza parlor in town. We just, we, we have to wait for them to move in. You see, I, I don't have much control. You need to change that street. It's looking like something. What? What you mean? Which one? I don't know which one you're talking about, man. Ain't nothing here looking like nothing. Uh, anyways, uh, oh, did it build? I think one of them built. Okay. So yeah, I'm guessing people just don't build at night, which I mean, fair, I guess. V uh, Valencia. I mean, we saw that dude's mustache, if that's what you're talking about. It doesn't look anything like that, though. <laughs> like, y'all be crazy. Hello, Matthew. Nice to meet you. Stream, you too. I hope you'll make us a nice place to live. I'm gonna try. What's wrong? I just want to gossip. The weather forecast is never right. Well, I'm fucking sorry. What do you want me to do about that? Oh, wait. I wanted to talk to your wife or daughter. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope you build us a safe town to live in. Well, I see what you're talking about, but it doesn't look anything like that. At least not right now. <laughs> Good to meet you, stream. Make our town shine. Okay, Mr. Thompson. A Nava family? I'll be Nava. <laughs> huh. Best of luck with the town project. What's the town project? Nice to meet you, uh, Kira. Hope you build us an awesome town. All right, I'm going to try to make it trash now just because you said that. Make us a cool town, okay? You got it, kid. You know what? Just for Oscar, I can't make the town look like shit anymore. So thank you, Oscar. You, you saved everyone. Nice to meet you, stream. Get pumped and build that town. Get fucking pumped. Let's go. <laughs> nice to meet you, stream. I hope you build us an awesome town. All right, Rain. I have someone that's hungry. And, like, they refuse to cook food for themselves. Um, so, like... Uh, do, like, one of you guys sell pizza? No? Okay. So are you just not open right now? Or do you like not actually sell food? I'm confused. Davidson family. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hi, Marina. 
Uh, yes, you do actually sell potatoes, right? You have to feed people? I don't know, man. I'm gonna buy a potato. Yes. Uh, no, that's all I want right now. Thank you. All I know is it says they're hungry. And, like, I was gonna try and buy them pizza, but it didn't do anything. You're up early. Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the park. Please, can you build us a park? Is that possible? Yes. Uh... Uh, how do we build a park? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's an option. Um, give present. Potato. Give the potato. You're welcome. <laughs> I, uh, I still have something to do. Well, then goodbye. Goodbye to you, too. Why are you still hungry? I gave you a single potato. Surely that's all you could fucking need in life, right? Look, the Stockton family isn't over here complaining. Nice to meet you too, man. Build a town for old folks like myself. I'm trying to. I put you, like, right with the other old people. That's all you can really ask for, right? Alright, uh, look. Shopping bag? Holds up to four items you buy in a shop. What do they, what do they do, though? Okay, email. Can we, I guess we need to get just more, like, food in here. Florist, barba, bar, the barber. Ooh, supermarket. Let's get... Oh, the fucking supermarket's huge, bruh. Okay. What size is a road? Do I need to leave that much space or that much space for the road? Oh, it's like... It's a little off-center, too, isn't it? Can it, can the supermarket go, like, over here? It can. Do we just, like... Do we just smack it down here? I feel like it needs to be off to one side, though. I guess, like, we could imagine the rest of it's parking or something. I don't know. Oh, wait, can we, like, demolish it with this? I don't know. I don't. I feel like the supermarket... I kind of want it here, but I don't know if a road will fit over there. So, like, I don't know. Whatever. It's going to go right in the fucking town center, I guess. Right there. That's too late. It's down. Whatever. Elderly home with garage. Oh, damn, dude. You got, like, a big-ass house, huh? We getting the rich folks in here now, man. So if I build it here, will it demolish that road? Because I kind of want that road gone anyways. So I'd be fine with that. I'm just throwing that out there. I should just build a road going off of that. Yeah, you know what? Let's put you, like, right there. And then let's just build a fucking road where I know I want roads at. Like, I, I want one here. I'm assuming, like traffic doesn't actually exist in this world so like i'm assuming i'm assuming that's all fine you know get something like that going on just so we have a little bit of space to grow over here then like this way i don't know man maybe we'll just go like straight off this one have it kind of make sense do something like that and then over here let's uh let's fuck it up again one two three four one, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's like actually like right in the middle. Yeah, let's just keep it going off the middle then. Hi, boss. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, uh, fuck. I didn't make this one straight. Fuck, I can't put shit because the boss is calling. Oh, I was going to... I was actually going to answer the phone. Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't mean it. Can I call him back? I don't think I can. Uh... There we go. Okay. Answer. You're working hard. I am. I'll teach you about the complaint meter. The complaint meter displayed at the bottom right will increase as the residents develop complaints. As the complaint meter fills up, the number of people wanting to move in here will decrease and mails will stop coming in. If you stop getting mail, talk directly to the residents and get them to introduce new tenants. By all means, go wild developing the town, but I want you to keep an eye on the complaints while building the town up too. All the best. Thank you. Uh, so there's like a lot of complaints, which... I would love to address, but honestly, like, I just kind of want to put a park in here for that one person that wants a park, and I can't. You know what? People need a place to get their hair cut. So, like, let's get that. And having a barber... See, like, they were talking about parking. Do we actually need to provide places for parking? Man, I don't know. This game's confusing. I don't know. Let's put... I kind of want these all to be homes. Just like a bunch of homes. Younger people homes. Or you know what? Older people homes. 
Those can be older people homes. Yeah. These can all be old people homes, man. Uh, employee home with the garage. We need a florist too, though. I mean, maybe that can go across the street over here by the old people homes. Because that makes sense, sense, right? Are you focused on the park because you want more parks here? I don't know, man. Maybe. I like parks, okay? <laughs> parks are cool. All right. I feel like at this point, I should probably take a little bit of time actually getting to know all my residents. Like, I mean, I did build this giant supermarket here, and I don't even know the guys that run it yet. Nice to meet you. I know it'll be hard, but I'm counting on you. Same. Counting on you to not fuck my town up, dude. What do you sell, anyways? Shopping baskets? Do you sell shopping baskets? Hmm. Rice, milk, and seasoning. Why is rice so expensive? Isn't rice supposed to be, like, a relatively cheap staple food? Wonder what kind of town we'll end up with? You're counting on me? Same, man. I'm wondering what type of town we're gonna end up with. Yeah, I wanna I wanna gossip. The economy's improved and all, but it really doesn't affect me. Oh, you so rich the economy don't fucking matter to you? Wow, dude, you see that? You see that arrogance there? Can't believe people. It's so bad I need to get a nicotine lozenge. Like, wouldn't it be nice to have more parks? I don't care, like, where you live. Wouldn't it be nice to have more parks? Like, you could live next to, like, ten parks, and guess what? It would still be nice to have more fucking parks, dude. You can never have too many. Hi, Carmela. You are phasing through a wall right now. Uh, do you need help? Should I call, like, the Ghostbusters or something, maybe? Do you need a little a little something there? Uh, you can forecast the weather. Is that like a superpower? I'm I'm a little concerned about you, man. I'm not gonna lie. Fine family ain't home. Oh, they got a fucking car though, dude. They rich, ain't they? Are you still fucking hungry? Is that what you complaining about? Chang noodle bar. You live literally right next to a noodle bar. Why are you glowing? Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the police. Please, can you build us police? Is that possible? Yes. Um, okay, so I need to build police and a park, but like, I don't think I have that ability, man. <laughs> uh, employee home with my elderly home trying planning company. I wonder what the planning company does. Maybe the planning company will let me build like bigger stuff, but. Before I do that, I see we got more old people in here, and uh, we know what to do with old people around here, dude. Plop them right fucking there. Tell them to be their own police? Yeah. Fucking, we run on a... Uh... No, where's a good place to have a planning company? I feel like it should be kind of in, like, the business center somewhere, you know? Right fucking... You know, kind of out of the way. Waterfront property, though? I mean, like, look, they're just, there's some really good fucking planners, that's all. Yeah, tell all these old fucks to, to police themselves, man. <laughs> I would love to build you some police, though. I would love to build you a park, but can someone please tell me how? A little hungry. I mean, I feel that. I'm a little hungry, too. Okay. Our boss is probably getting mad. Hey, you. You can't move people in unless you get applications. Talk a lot and meet as many people as you can. I wish you luck. I'm talking to people, man. Hi, guys. Talk. How are you? Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the hospital. I mean, look, I would love to build you a fucking hospital, man. I don't know how. <laughs> Y'all ain't helping here. I could air out the mattresses. Yeah, I wish there was another hospital. Me fucking too, dude. Uh, oh, oh, you can introduce me to police and shit? All right, you know what? Let's get a fucking police first. And the Clooney family can introduce someone. Oh, the Clooney family. Okay. Dude, that's, that's, a, okay. So, like, you tell me to go talk to the Clooney's, and then the Clooney's know a police officer that I can bring in? I seem stressed. I'm not stressed. You're stressed, okay? Where the fuck is the Clooney family? Holy shit, everyone's, like, red. Clooney family. Uh, Carmela. Hi. Yes, I know. You're a long way from the hospital, but I need... I need police. Ebert helps. Please introduce me. Thank you. 
Let's get fucking Albert in here. Uh, same, mister. Okay. So, email. Let's try not to, like, kick him out this time, though. Police station. Yes. Um. Uh, I mean, kind of by the supermarket, right? If this is the supermarket, then I feel like this is going to end up being, like, built up as kind of a city center over here, kind of. This is, like, the old people home. This is the shops. And this will be, I don't know, other stuff. So, I feel like, you know, getting police around here would probably be good. Kinda. I hope. Yeah, sure, whatever. It can go there. And then people, all these all these old fucks want a hospital. Does anybody know, like, a hospital, maybe? Hey, Flora, I don't think I've met you before. I'm trying to build you a safe town and shit. Yes. Uh, yes, I know, actually. Do you mind introducing me to someone that works at a hospital? There's no one in town that can solve the fucking hospital problem? Oh, well, that's a fucking problem, ain't it? Holy shit, dude. I, I fucking know you're along. Just ask everyone. Well, she said there's no one in town. Like, I mean, I haven't met the Klein family yet. Maybe someone from the Klein. Oh, 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 shit. Hello, this is Thompson from the elderly home. Wooden, you've invited a police, haven't you? You're glad. Well, take care. You're fucking welcome, dude. I'm trying. The new police doesn't know? Maybe. Did the new police move in yet? Ebert Police Station. Yeah, they're not fucking moved in yet, man. They're slow as shit. Keaton family. Hi. Good to meet you, stream. Make our town shine. Looks like you have to be a doc now, too. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> we screwed if I'm gonna start working on, uh, working on people. Surgering people and stuff. <laughs> that's, that's the technical term for that, right? Surgering people. Uh, yes, I would like you to introduce me to a hospital owner. You don't know anyone who can solve the hospital's complaints? Neither do I, man! Alright, then goodbye. <laughs> How about the Lee family? You're not home. Okay. The Lavelle family? Apparently, I've met one or more of you. Um, also, like, I can't walk between those? Really? Kind of looks like I should be able to, but you know what? Whatever game, you know, you know better than I do. Where did I put that planning company? Like, I would think maybe that planning company would know some people, right? Middle-aged man with a fake smile. Same. Uh. All right. Did that say Epstein? The Epstein barber, dude. I don't think you should go here to the Epstein barber, especially if you're like a child. I'm just saying, like, there's no reason that I'm saying that or anything. Just, you know, maybe maybe go to a different barber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a safe town as long as you stay away from that, that Epstein place, you know what I mean? I'm going home soon, my spouse is expecting me, goodbye. Hey, Mr. Lee. Uh, build a town where we can live nice and easy. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we got in this town, Noodle. <laughs> nice town, isn't it? It's the best town. I built it with love. <laughs> Please don't leave. <laughs> oh, God. Make our town shine. Okay, do you guys, like, do anything, though? I hope you built us a huge town. You're like a planning company, right? So introduce me to a hospital, place. What do you mean you don't know anyone? You're a fucking... Mm, I hate you. I hate you so much. All right, whatever. Email. Did we get a... The police station's coming. But we haven't got... We haven't got anybody with a... a whatchamacallit yet. A park. Um, we don't have a pub. If everyone just gets drunk, maybe they'll forget about all the problems here. So, like... <laughs> so, we're gonna put a... We're gonna put a... Put a fucking pub over here, man. There we go. That should take care of that, right? And then maybe people don't like the normal noodles. Maybe they only want Chinese noodles. So, gonna put a nice Chinese place right, right over here, man. These people all look pissed. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> look at the fucking complaint bar over there. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Can it turn daytime yet? You sound more and more like our town's mayor. I don't know what to do. Everything's falling apart. All oh, the floors. I haven't said hi. Hi, Elvis. Best of luck with the town project. Thanks, man. Hi, Marsha. 
Girl with heavy makeup. A town with plenty of shops. Oh, we got shops. I'm out with some friends tonight. You don't look like you're out with some friends tonight. Do you know anyone with a hospital? <laughs> Fuck. You're busy. I'm busy. Look at all these people. They're so angry. What's up? Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the hospital. I know. Well, here you go. You want a fucking hospital? Show me someone with the fucking hospital then. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, dude. Oh. Gonna go watch a movie goodbye. Okay, go watch a fucking movie then, you piece of shit. Good evening. Do you have any complaints? I wish there was another hospital. Everybody wants a fucking hospital, but I can't put a hospital in because there's no goddamn hospitals. No one works at hospitals anymore, okay? Hospitals don't exist. The weather is great. That's fucking great. I don't know anyone who can solve the hospital complaint. I'm working. I'm fucking working too, okay? Yes, everybody wishes there was another hospital. Jody Thompson and the Thompson family. Jody fucking Tom. It's a dental school? That's it? That's not even a hospital. That's a dental school. Whatever. Jody Thompson. Jody's fucking asleep. Jody, wait the fuck up. <laughs> Just pound on her fucking door. Get her ass up. Tell me where the fuck can I get a hospital? Please and thank you. Because, my god, everybody in this town is going to die if we don't get a fucking hospital, dude. Jesus Christ. <sighs> How is everyone tonight? Everybody doing okay? Hoosa and, and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Just fucking chill, calm, relaxed. Everything is fine. Just distract them with bike paths. I don't think that's an option in this game. <laughs> Did our police station ever get in here? The Clooney family. Where did I put it over here, right? Yeah, there it is. No, it's not here. I get yeah, like I said, they don't seem to build at night. So we can't do anything but wait till day. And I don't think I can like speed up time. Chang noodle bar. Are you saying you don't have any customers? Because like there's a dude right next door to you that was apparently starving to death. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, hi. Uh, are one of you Jody? Hi, Jody. Good morning. Thank you very much. You've invited a police, haven't you? You're glad. Oh, wait. Are you the one that fucking asked me for a police, dude? Do you know someone with connections? You have an acquaintance bar one that have his own dental school. Please enter fucking deuce me. Thank you. I mean, it's not a hospital, but... It's something. Um, <laughs> would it be morbid of me to put, like, the hospital right next to the fucking the old people square it's going right next to the fucking old people square there you go <laughs> I, that seems reasonable you know i don't know what to tell you uh anyways there you go okay we got a fucking hospital kind of it's not really a hospital but it's the best fucking thing i could do a little hungry are you saying i'm a little hungry oh oh that fixed like so many people's problems Hello, this is Knight from the bookshop. You've invited a hospital, haven't you? You're glad. Well, then goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Why are you green? Is green a good thing? I'm hoping green's a good thing. Does anybody have complaints? I probably haven't got to meet a lot of these people, so... The police still haven't moved in? Damn, police. You're slow as shit. Oh, shit. I just ignored the boss. I'm sorry, boss. I promise I didn't mean to ignore you. I meant to answer your call. Really, I did, but I didn't answer it, so get fucked. Buy the police new cars or the streets crum as the streets crumble? Sounds like a good plan to me. Answer this time. Are you working hard? I put your salary in the bank today. Shall I explain your salary to you? Sure. You'll receive an annual salary. You'll get half in June and the other half in December. Depending on your performance, you might get a raise. The number of new families moved in within the past six months times two and the complaints solved... Minus the sum of those that left times four and the complaints solved results over a hundred. Your quota's filled and you get a re What? Uh. <laughs> Shall I tell you again? You know what? No, it's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. Number of residents that left are zero. Number of complaints are 10 points. Your level is 62 marks. Sorry, you don't get a raise. Good luck. I mean, fuck you too. I don't. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Morebear. 
Good to meet you, stream. Make our town shine. Okay. May I be of assistance? Do you have any gossip? Secret to enjoying work is to like what you do? I mean, yeah, but most people in this world don't have that fucking pleasure, dude. So stop being elitist. Uh, nice to meet you too, stream. Best of luck with the town project. Thanks, Mr. Adams, sir. Was your name Adams? From the hardware store. Oh. We should get a hardware store. Okay. So. Hardware store, you say, huh? Can you, like, maybe introduce me to someone that owns a hardware store as I literally hop people's fences? Mr. Police! Hi! How are you? Make our town shine! Okay, can I, like, report a crime? Yesterday's progress? Oh, you just tell me how many buildings I built? That's very useful. Thanks. Um, what do you need? Gossip, girl. The forecast for tomorrow is fine. I want to do something fun with the depressions really over. Uh, why is there, like, a depression? Stop it. <laughs> Maxim Minor. I hope you build us a huge town. Fucking huge, bruh. Inch gossip. People from school know about public affairs like the hospital, the police, and the playground. What a nice day for going out. Speaking of, does anybody know anywhere that I can get a fucking playground? Or did I build one already and forgot? Uh, Yoshi Noah? Sure. Johnson. Johnson Yoshi Noah. Johnson wants to build a Yoshi Noah. There's a lot of people that apparently want to build it, but I'm looking for Johnson because they were recommended by somebody that I don't really know anything about, but I trust them with my life. That looks like it'll fit perfectly right there. And while town planning <laughs> looks kind of trash, it's fine. I need more old people, man. I guess we're just going to have to build some regular homes. Wait, was this size two or size three? That's size three. I just want, I want some more size two, mans. Get some more size two in here. Let's, uh, let's get you over there. Let's get you there. Um, you're already being built. Size two. Let's get, let's get, uh, right. I don't know, man. We'll leave, I guess we could leave like walking spaces every once in a while or something would probably be nice. We could turn this into like a size three square probably. <clears throat> Let's get, uh, let's go ahead and put you there. Size two, you here. That's, that's a bunch of new people, right? Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Yeah, let's just put everyone down. Whatever, I don't give a fuck. We'll put you here. What other size three do we have? You, you can go there. And then, do we have any more size three shit? Uh, the Yoshinoa, but I think we put that in already. We already put that in. Another Yoshinoa, another one. There's so many of them. Why? <laughs> All right. And then we probably need to put in some. Oh wait, we got more. We got more requests. Anything size three? I'm looking for some. Yes, size three. Okay. Here we go. Um, there, and there excellent there we go that finishes that block so now i should be able to go into road construction and probably connect you guys to a road because i don't think you'll be too happy without one there you go and i left a little patch of grass so you guys could have like walk around or something i don't know man just be happy i did that for you Oh shit, there's complaints. People people want stuff. I don't know. I just don't know how to exit this fucking mode, by the way. The the putting stuff down mode. It's not select. It's not start. It's not these buttons either. The only way I know to do it is to just like go in there and select the mobile phone. <laughs> which I don't think is how you're supposed to do it. But it's the only way I know how, so. Oh, there's actually cars driving on the road now. So the bigger homes have cars. So it's probably okay to put them like farther out into the, the sticks or something. Hi, how are you? 
The weather is so nice. Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the park. Please, can you boat us a park? Is that possible? Yes. I remember Holiday Masia's complaint. Oh, that's your name. Okay. Um, yes. Can you introduce me to someone that runs a park? More bar and the dentist. Okay. See you later. So, Mr. Dentist, sir, I hear that you can... Uh, tell me someone that runs a park. Introduce me to a park person, please. Your friend Butler wants to have his own playground. Who, like... I've never... Never thought about it, but yeah, I guess someone does have to, like, run the playground, huh? Alright, playground. And it's a size 3, it's fucking huge bruh huge i tell you and i'll tell you what here's what we do i was gonna make this like its own big thing but like maybe we'll leave some green space around the park although that's like so far away from everything you know what i mean like i don't know i kind of want it to be like more central i'm assuming if i put it like here it's gonna demolish the roads <laughs> there so I guess there's nowhere, like, real good to put it. Um, yeah, there's not going to be, like, anything else around it. This here, I'm going to keep expanding this way a little bit. So I guess it's going to go here. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. It'll go there. Done. Hey, you sell Chinese noodles? I like Chinese noodles, I think. He gives free candy at the park to increase business. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. I hope you'll build us a town with plenty of shops. I think I've done that so far. I hope your town will be good for shopping. Everybody just wants shops. Thank you very much. You've invited a hospital, haven't you? You're glad. Yeah, you're welcome, boy. Season is to give a gift when a new shop opens. There aren't any problems, really. We'll take it easy. Give a new gift when a shop opens. Oh, wait. You have more people here? Holy shit. All kinds of people here, huh? Uh, I would like to eat some food from you. Uh, soy sauce ramen? Uh, yes, please. Salt ramen? What is, is it just salt water and noodles? Um, I hope not. <laughs> I would like some soy sauce ramen though. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's my own strength down there, isn't it? Like I'm fucking dying of hunger. Is that what's going on? When it keeps popping up and saying I'm a little hungry, is that because like I'm literally hungry? Holy shit, dude. I think, I think I've been dying. Hold on. <laughs> let me, let me go around to some of these shops that I've been putting in and like maybe buy some food or something. Can I build my own house? Do I get to live somewhere or no? Does that just not... Does that not happen? Uh, I would like some rice. I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, so that didn't raise my strength. So yeah, so the strength isn't related to them. That's related to me. This is Masias from the elderly home, Wooden. You've invited a park, haven't you? I'm glad. Please excuse me. Uh, you're welcome, lady. Uh, police station, can you tell me how to cook rice? So, if I go to my shopping bag... Wait, I just eat the rice? Okay, well, that definitely wasn't worth it. That hardly recovered anything. There's got to be more to it than that. You're, like, yellow, so does that mean you want something? Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the senior amusement. Uh... Senior amusement? Is that, like, a strip club for old people? Also, your shop is, like, very green. Ooh, uh, I would like to buy a bush, please. I will take it. I don't know what a bush is gonna do for me, but... <laughs> Anyways, uh, do you have a complaint? You're very green. Residence and office. A residence and office? Uh, okay. Well, hey, do you, can you happen to, like, introduce me to a residence and office or anything? Uh, senior amusement. You don't know anyone. Okay, well. Pretty average. I guess fights break out from time to time. Uh, bye-bye now. You too. Bye-bye. Can I help you? Talk. What's up? This weather is, like, so perfect. Oh, my God. Introduce me. Solve complaints. Residence and office. You don't know anyone? No one fucking knows anyone in this town, man. What's the point? 
All right. Uh, I was going to buy some food because apparently I'm dying. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Uh, is this dude threatening me? I think he's fucking threatening me, dude. You look old as shit. Do you know anyone? No. I don't know much, but I'll do my best to help you out. Thompson family is registered in the yellow. Oh, we're fam. Oh, we're family. We're fucking friendly now. Okay. You're blue. Why are you blue? What do you want? This is nice weather. Yes. Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the gas station. Fuck. Now you want a gas station? These people are so needy. Well, okay. Can you at least tell me where to get like some old people stuff? We have a lot of old people living here and like... We, you fucking know anyone either. No one knows anyone. <laughs> Jesus. Well, okay. Look. It's been a little while, guys. I think we need to take a short break. Surprisingly, it's already been like an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a short break. You can watch, uh, the, the wonderful episode of Ratchet and Clank going on in the background and while we run an ad and things, and then we'll be back in like three minutes to try and find some fucking amusement for these old people. So they don't go on like a murder spree or something like that. <laughs> be right back guys. You seem annoyed with my people. games in that series but I've never actually gotten to you know and again Fable 1 and 3 are both on PC so that's no problem I can play those easily enough but but 2 I'm kind of stuck with or stuck stuck without I guess is more like it yeah so with these guys here we can just kind of throw a bomb at them and kill them easily enough or we can just kind of crouch and throw a wrench at them a couple wrench hits will take them out real Real nice as well. The bombs, though, obviously do a bit of a better job. They pack a bit more punch than, than just hitting them with a wrench does. <laughs> I don't know how far anybody else has ever gotten into this game. Outside of myself or Nate, I'm sure, since he said that he's played a fair bit of it. But the game gets a bit wacky the farther you go along. There's some wacky weapons and situations. And the developers always kind of have some fun with the names of the games and whatnot, too. Like, this one's just called Ratchet and Clank. But then, later on in the series, they have stuff like Up Your Arsenal and stuff like that. That's, uh... <laughs> like I said, they just like to have a bit of fun with it. A little bit of childish humor, maybe, but... Not complaining. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens. Of Hello, citizens. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... Which still on? <laughs> oh, turn it off, you idiot! So a, lot, a lot of fun little humor here in the Ratchet and Clank games. The people on those planets are hoes. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I talking, I talking, talking. Robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. All right. They done now? 
Okay. <laughs> Nate says it's truly one of your favorites. They're on your list of second most played games, especially Fable 2. A lot of people hate it on Fable 3, but you love the changes they did. I was going to ask which one your favorite was. You kind of answered it for me there, though. Take care of it. This is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! Yeah, so I'm guessing Fable 2 is your favorite, though? So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny... You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. So two is your favorite because it's the one you played first in the series. Are the games not like... It's not one story, just kind of told throughout the three games. Like, each one has its own unique story, then. I know they're set, like, in the same universe, but they are separate, right? Your brother had it, and you borrowed every chance you got until you got your own copy. Nice. Yeah, that's what... It's kind of how it was for, like, Jack and Daxter, for me, for instance. Sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Like I said, I never owned... Jack and Daxter growing up, though I did own Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper, hence why I played those ones a lot more than Jack and Daxter, at least growing up. But then I got Jack and Daxter collection for the PS3 or 4, whatever it was, and I just, yeah, I fell in love. It's the only game I've platinumed on the PS, uh, well, on PlayStation consoles in general, which is pretty surprising considering my love of, you know, uh, God of War and Kingdom Hearts and whatnot. But Jack and Daxter was just very reasonable with its trophies. Like, you didn't have to do anything ridiculous to collect them. You just, you beat the game and, and got all of the collectibles in the game, and that's all you had to do. There was no, like, online elements. There was no kill six million of these things or anything crazy like that. It was just, hey, play the game. Did you 100% the game? Cool, you gotta, you gotta platinum. Whereas, like, Kingdom Hearts, for instance, I've 100%ed the main part of the game, but the gummy ship missions just get to me, man. I can't... <laughs> I can't get into them. <laughs> Not that much, at least, so... I've never, uh... I never got the platinum on it there. The overall lore, all of them are connected. You don't know why it's double messaging? Uh, it's not showing up double for me, so you should be good. Yeah, it's just showing up one message each time you send something to me, so... I think you're alright, man. Yeah, maybe something with your, your connection issues that, you, that you're having. Maybe it's showing too because of that, I don't know. But yeah, no worries. No problems on this end. Yeah, I really hope that, like, if they do a remaster of 2 or something like that and bring it to PC, that would be amazing. Just because I have no idea when it'll be that I finally end up picking up an Xbox console. Well, actually, to be fair, I do actually own a couple Xbox 360s. They just need some work done on them to get them working again, basically. So once I get one of them fixed, I, I could just play Fable 2 on there if I ever wanted to. Oop. Which is something maybe I'll do. Uh... How many of the Ratchet and Clank games have you played, Nate? Just the just the first one, or have you ever played like the second, third, etc., etc.? The first one's the only one that I've played through to completion. Well, no, that I don't think that's true, actually. I'm pretty sure I've played the second 
and maybe the third one to completion. I remember that I played more than one of them at least when I was a kid. I just don't remember how far I got in the other ones. The first one I, I've definitely beaten for sure. But it was so long ago since I played through them that I don't remember all of them that I've done. It's so weird. I just played this, like I mentioned before, for the podcast not too long ago. And in my time playing it for that, I unlocked a lot more of the new movement abilities and stuff like that. So going back now to not having any of the, the hover, the hover, the hover, or anything like that just feels really weird. Fable 2 had the best DLC, and you played each that was on PS2 but never beat any of them. Didn't have a memory card for the longest time. Oh, yeah, you've mentioned that before. That sucks, man. Played all of them but never got to beat them. At least on the PS2. That's insane. Dad blast it. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. 500 bolts. Thankfully, we've been... Hello. Yeah, I'm back. Sorry. It was a little bit of a long break. I was, uh, looking at something. Um, working on something I've been wanting to do, but I just randomly remembered it. Um, and so, yeah. I figured I would uh, start working on that. But anyways, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back, though. I don't think it was too long. I uh, do apologize for it being slightly longer than usual, though. And we got a reverse reverse. I have to play with the controller upside down. That's, uh... Okay. This shouldn't be the worst game in the world for that, at least. So, like, that's good. It's still gonna be a bit of a pain. Like, moving around and stuff. But I think we can handle it. I think, I think we're going to be okay, man. I could, uh, I'd get my headphones plugged in real quick, too. They be dying. There we go. They're back. Also, Nate, I just realized your, uh, your thing never went through for that there. There we go. Uh, eight ball. Was that a long break? question mark not sure there we go see the 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 magic eight ball doesn't think it was a particularly long break so i think it's fun <laughs> uh, anyways okay let's uh introduce ourselves to some new people and maybe one of them can like uh yes we'll we'll build a nice town for you to live in uh maybe we'll build us a killer town i don't think that's a good idea norman thomas um yeah. Anyways, do you, little girl, happen to know anyone that runs a uh, senior amusement? <laughs> no, no, you don't. Okay. I figured, you know, a girl that's probably like 13 years old would surely know someone that runs a senior amusement center. <laughs> Why not, man? Yes, I need to know if you can give me senior amusement shit. Artie Knight in the bookshop. Dude, you're the fucking best, lady. I don't know you, um, but thank you so much. Uh, hi, little little bro. Hope you build a wonderful town. Me too, man. Hope you build a wonderful town. It seems like a lot of people tell me that. Uh, it's really going to suck when the town sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, the bookstore. Bookstore. That's the event planner. Um... Does anybody remember where the bookstore was? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, bookstore. Yeah, Artie. I have a question for you. I would like to talk to you. We meet again. Thank you very much. You've invited a hospital, haven't you? Glad. Me too. Uh, maybe you'll treat your wife to something really special tonight. <laughs> uh, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? Gonna, gonna treat her to something real fucking nice, man. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I... <laughs> 
Yes, I invited a fucking hospital. Tell me who runs a senior amusement center. Piper owns a fishing pond? Whatever. That's fine. Old people like to fish, right? Uh, emails? Fishing pond. Let's fucking go. Oh, the fishing pond be big though, huh? I mean, like it, it seems a little weird because it's probably going to like be built up in concrete when I'm trying to like put it in the, the water here, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, a realtor? I mean, does a realtor actually help us at all? Electrician's kind of nice, I guess. Do we have any more elderly people? We do, but your home's too big to fit in my elderly amusement area or my elderly home area, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, also, sorry. Controller, upside down. Let's go. Okay. Controller's upside down now. My bad. I completely forgot about that. I'm going to end up, like, deleting people that I'm trying to actually get to move in because of this. Uh, just a regular home with stairs? That's fine. Um, uh, oh, it's this stick now. Oh, okay. And it goes this way. Let's uh, fill up this other area that we didn't have anything else in. So we'll get you there and then like uh, a butcher shop. People want some like fresh meat or something. Maybe, maybe do we want a butcher shop? He's going to take out lunch. You know, yeah, let's get some, let's get some fresh meat for people, man. Everyone likes some fresh meat, right? Uh, let's get you there. Perfect. And then I want, I want like just more people. I feel like our, our people to, well, no, I guess like, with every shop, I guess people move in with it too. So it's not actually that bad. So sure, whatever. Let's get this this pawn shop. And uh, everyone knows that pawn shops do best when they are right next to a, <laughs> to a police station. <laughs> Obviously. So it's going to go right fucking there, dude. That looks beautiful. Okay. Uh, now we had more complaints. So com police people, do you happen to know... Um, anybody that runs a residence and office? Well, you fucking suck. No business like good business? That's, I mean, that's true. Her parents could have been charged in senior moon if she could have known someone. I mean, maybe, but like, come on, what are the chances of that? <laughs> Yesterday we got another 14 buildings. Wow, you can count. I'm so proud of you. Introduce me to someone that does residence in office, whatever that means. Woods Lee of the Lee family. And the employee home classic. Wood Lee of the Lee family. Um, okay. Took you long enough to read that message? I mean, I saw it. I just didn't have anything to say. What do you want from me? Anyways, Lee family. I think we just got in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Lee. Hi, Lee. Hello, this is Lee from the elderly home with stairs. You invite our senior move. I did. So wait, does that mean the Lee family is over here? Are you? No, you're the Lavelle family. Lee family. Yes. Uh, no one's fucking home. How am I supposed to talk to them when they're not fucking home? Honestly, though, this game's pretty fun. Like, I'm having fun with it. I'm a little annoyed with them, but I'm having fun with it at the same time. Uh, are you a Lee? No, you're a Keaton. I need a Lee to come here. Please. Oh, wait. Not you. I don't think... You're still here? What on earth are you doing? I mean, yeah. Did you expect me to leave? I'm confused. Pitt is looking for an apartment as a second home. Please introduce me. You'll introduce Pitt? Thanks, man. Uh, so we meet again. Uh, yes. I, I did that for you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Now, I would like to get Pitt here, please. Uh, Pitt. Mr. or Mrs. Pitt. Studio apartment. How does that... Is this... Is this what I wanted? I feel like this isn't really what I was asking for, but... I mean... Sure. Whatever. I don't know, man. What do I fucking know? Are there any more old people that want to move in? There is, but your house is too big. Goddamn old people with their big-ass houses. You know what we really need? An electrician. Kitty Pit? <laughs> Is that was that the name? I didn't really look that closely at it. Kitty Pit. Sounds like a wonderful name. Oh, you know why we haven't been at all? The fucking park, bro. We should go check out the park at some point. 
you, the electrician, can obviously go over there, because why not? Seems like a good place for an electrician. Does it really matter, like, where anything goes? I feel like it doesn't. You have a complaint, I hear. Do you have any complaints? Uh, we're a long way from the hospital. What? You want another hospital? Okay, well, do you know anyone that, like, works in the, ho the hospital industry, maybe? Come to hear my joke? I can't wait until you sort out some complaints. Is that your joke? <laughs> That's fucking rude, dude. Uh, residence and office. We got that. Gas station. Hospital. You don't know anyone who can solve the hospital complaint. Well, you're fucking useless. You're always in trouble when you make documents on the computer. If you have any problems, come see me. Ah, oh, dude. Well, we're friends now. That's cool. Uh, hello there. Uh, talk. Yes, I'm the Metropolis Maker. I know you're a long way from the hospital. That's why I would like to know. Do you know anyone that runs a fucking hospital? You do? There's no... What do you mean there's no one in town? That's what you told me last time. Or, well, the people of this town told me that last time. Holy shit, dude. No, I don't want to... I don't want to talk to you anymore, lady. Look, I guess I'll eat some food since I'm stuck here for the rest of my life. Uh, let's eat some miso ramen this time. Yes. Oh, damn. That filled us up good. A lot better than that fucking rice did that we had last time, huh? Wherever we got that from. The butler playground. Oh, Bishop's calling. Hi, Bishop. Hello, this is Bishop from the forest. You've invited a residence and office, haven't you? I'm glad. I guess I'll see you in or whatever. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Whitby. Hi, Whitby. Go to town where we can live nice and easy. Okay. What? What are you, what are you doing with Miss Thompson here, huh? I thought Miss Thompson was having a nice night out with her husband. I don't believe you're her husband. I'm just saying, man. There might be a little something something going on here between uh, Whitby Butler and Miss Thompson. Do you know anyone that runs a hospital? No, of course you don't. Okay. Take care. You too, man. What about you, Thompson? Haha, <laughs> you again. <laughs> We're a long way from the park? What the fuck do you mean? You're literally at the park. Do you see this shit? She's literally at the park saying, I don't live close enough to the fucking park. The fuck, dude. What are you... <laughs> what? You're on crack, lady. Jesus, fuck, dude. What do you want from me? Do I need a park on every corner? I don't... I don't understand. I haven't been here yet. Hi. Hi. I hope you built us a huge town. I shall try. Nice to meet you. I hope you build us an awesome town. Huge and awesome? Y'all are asking for a lot. Go to town where we can live nice and easy. Okay. What do you need? I need you to introduce me to somebody that runs a fucking hospital. No, of course you don't. Uh, do you have any gossip? Things have been going well. Take care. Well, that's useful. It's tasty, affordable, and fast. Just how I like it. Which one would you like? Tasty. Grilled beef bowl sounds delicious, actually. Yes. No. Uh, actually, you know what? I kind of want a pork bowl, too. Yeah, just give me all of your food. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, please come again. Yeah, I'll come all the time. Uh, hot stew with plenty of tasty beef. Okay, well, how about... Do you know anyone that runs a gas station? Oh... Oh, there's no one in town that can help solve this complaint. You're a fucking liar. I don't believe you. Someone has to know someone that runs a gas station. It's made with tender beef, is it? Is it, though? Introduce me to someone that runs a park. Fuck! No one's useful in this town, man. <laughs> uh. Okay. Dennis family we've met. Chang... Da, 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 Maccas. I'm trying to find, like, some of the people that we haven't ever met yet. The Klein family. Hi, Klein family. Hi, stream. I hope you build us a huge town. Okay. Nice to meet you, stream. Uh, I hope you build us a safe town. Okay. Hi, Hunter. Parky. <laughs> I like Hunter. Papa? Uh. Oh. Uh, Parky? Okay, okay. So I can become this kid's best friend, Boo Boo? No, no. <laughs> By just answering the right things. No, I'm not your Nana. Oh. 
Oh, nope, that was that was a bad that was a bad one. Hunter wanted us to be his nana, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, you don't think they appreciate me talking shit on them all the time? They don't know what I'm saying. They're like cats and, and dogs and shit, man. As long as you say it nicely, they don't know. There's no one in town. Dude, I'm starting to think there literally isn't anyone in town. Men should be self-employed. I'm so tired. Maybe you should be self-employed. Jesus. Solve complaints. Hospital? You don't know anyone who can solve the hospital complaint. Okay. Domestic shops and stuff as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. I mean, we got most of that stuff. Mr. Event Planner, do you have another fucking... Thanks for coming this evening. Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the gas station. Yeah, well, how about you fucking introduce me to someone that knows where the fuck the gas station's at then? Or, like, runs one, I mean. Introduce me, solve complaints, gas station. No one can fucking solve this gas station complaint. Gas stations apparently don't exist. <laughs> hey, Doodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. You keep this stream alive. <laughs> and by this stream alive, I mean me, so thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you, stream. I hope you build us an awesome town. Literally, everybody has told me that. It's weird. Do you know anyone that runs a gas station? You pretty young girl? Uh, no. You're probably, what, like, 16 or something? Why don't you know anyone that runs a gas station? Quark guess for tomorrow is fine. The stars are so pretty. You've got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, me too, apparently. Introduce me to someone that runs a park. You don't know anyone that can solve the park complaint. Fuck. Everybody. Nobody. Why don't I just have, like, a... uh, I was going to say a phone book, but I guess I do have a phone book. It's just no one... Oh, shit. Hi. Nobody knows anybody. Huge town. Yep. Do you need something? I need you to introduce me to somebody that runs something. That's all. Um, uh, it's a nice night. I'm a little tired. Take it easy. You too. Nice to meet you, stream. I hope you build us a safe town. Nobody says, like, I just want a baller fucking town, man. Hospital? There's no one in town that can solve this complaint. <sighs> Is that true? Like, I'm starting to think it might actually be true. Which is a bit of a problem. You love playing with Dad? That's cool, man. That's that's real cool. So happy for you. Young Obi-Wan. Uh, the Zucker family? They're going to start a social media network and take over the world? Hi, stream. I hope you built us a huge town. Me too. Can I do something? Would you introduce me to someone that runs a gas station, maybe? Of course you don't fucking know anyone. No one knows anyone. No one knows how hard it is to run this town. I work and I work and I get no help in return. Can I just go and drop? Oh. Why did I suddenly move so fast? Is it like, am I running downhill or something? I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like suddenly I was just going super fucking fast, but like, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't actually all that fast. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. The mayor family? I don't think I've met you yet. Hi there, Levi. Hello, stream. Oh, I hope you built us a town with plenty of shops. I'd say there's quite a bit here. Do you know anyone that runs a park? No? Okay. See you later. A little bit hungry in a while, crocodile. Ha ha ha! You're so funny. Um, need something? Introduce me to someone that runs a gas station. There's no one in town that can solve that complaint either. There's no one in town that can solve any of these complaints. So does that mean we just need to like move more people in? Is that is that the only thing we can do? Like, is there, there no other hope for us? <sighs> okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just kind of waiting for, like, it to turn daytime. Hi, Thompson family. You're asleep. I can't really deal with your complaints when you're sleeping. Is there anyone we haven't? We haven't met the Piper uh family that's i mean they're sleep that's reasonable so is the pit people <laughs> the pit people 
Oh wait, didn't we get like a bar or a butcher? Yeah, also asleep. You know, it is kind of like the middle of the night, isn't it? So what do we got? We got 55% residential. We don't have very much in the way of entertainment, but I don't think I can really do anything about that. The Miner family, also asleep. The Gomez Pawn Shop, asleep. Is the supermarket open? No, they're asleep. Their front door's open. I can just go in, but... <laughs> Chinese Noodle Bar is not having a nice day. They are fucking pissed. Yeah, me neither, man. Like, this park problem. I'm pretty sure you're the one that wants a park, but... Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the hospital. Are you guys the ones that wanted a hospital? I feel like there was a lot of people that wanted a hospital, honestly. <laughs> she asked for a hospital. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Do you happen to know anyone who could, like, uh, maybe point me in the direction of someone that could run a hospital for us? And she's like, no, there's no one in town that can do that. Then why the fuck did you ask for a hospital, man? If you know no one can do that, then what's the point? Why even ask? I'm just wasting our time. Holy hell. Alright, uh, I guess the only way around that is just get more people to move in then. So do we have any more, like, size 2s that we could stuff in somewhere? I was gonna put, like, a size 2 here. I was just gonna pack this full. Let's go ahead and do that. Size 2. Size 2. Um... Take out lunch. Sure, we can have some random shops back here in the middle of nowhere. Size 2. And... Another butcher shop, maybe? Another realtor? Or did we not get a realtor yet? Maybe we didn't actually get a realtor yet, so sure. Realtor can go there. Whatever. And then we gotta build y'all some roads, because I'm sure you won't be too happy without that. There we go. Build your shit. Oh, yeah, and then we got to get out of here somehow. Mobile phone. Are you, like, actually awake and doing anything now, Mr. And, uh, event Planner people? Let's name this town? Oh, fuck. What's our name town called? Our town name. Uh, Noodle, Nate, anybody else that's around? I need you. What is our town? Is it the... the, f the, f the don't give a fuckton? I don't know. Uh, what's the eight ball say? Eight ball. What is my town's name? Noodleton? <laughs> do, you do you really? You would say no. That's very helpful. Uh, anyways, do you really want this town of all places named after you? I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's the, the best idea, but, uh, we can do it, man. N O. Uh, D, D, how'd you spell it? L E T E O N, L E T O N, Noodleton. There you go. Oh, there is a lowercase. Oh, well, it's Noodleton, but we're yelling it at people. <laughs> Good name. Woo, this is some truly splendid weather. <laughs> Long way from the gas station. What else could it be? I have no idea. It's too late now. We picked it anyways. Uh, I need a park. Nope. Okay. Need stamina to work hard. Nice day, isn't it? You were just watching the news. All right, then goodbye. Yeah, goodbye to you too. <sighs> Can't wait until you sort out some complaints. You know, I'm really trying to, but like apparently it's impossible. The event planner is registered. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're registered. Um, can we eat some pizza? Where's the pizza parlor at? Butcher. Oh, no, I didn't mean to talk to you, but hi. Do you happen to know anyone that does hospital stuff? Okay. Forgot to tell you my phone number. Oh, hi. I'm glad we're friends now. Uh, butcher shop. Yes, I'm stream. Nice to finally meet you. You're Schaefer. How do you, which do you prefer? Sea eel or eel? I don't know the difference. Sea eel. You like eel. Uh, see, you wouldn't want to be you. What? <laughs> I see you like me, don't you? I mean, yeah. I don't... Uh, I'm confused. 
You're stream, aren't you? My name is Amanda Schaefer. Take care. You too. What's up? Uh, oh, you're not willing to... Not willing to help me out or sell me any, any meat or anything? Okay. Well, whatever. Epstein Barber? No, I don't want my hair cut. Or my butthole. Uh, anyways. <laughs> yep, later. Uh, what do you think? Keep it up. My name is Fiore Minor. I'm all sweaty. What were you two up to before I got here, huh? Hey, guys. Uh, can you tell me anyone that runs a gas station? Nope. Okay, see you later. Also, you don't sell pizza by any chance? Um, that's weird. Park. Please. There's no one in town that can help solve. Okay, so I've been told at this point, I've been told for every single thing, there's no one in town that can help us. So basically what I'm hearing is we're fucked. <laughs> You're stream, aren't you? Nice to finally meet you. You're Mr. Gomez. All right, then goodbye. Uh, shop. What do you guys sell here at this place? A clock, a blue surfboard, a daruma, a barber pole. Oh, wait. I'll buy the barber pole and give it to Mr. Epstein. <laughs> Why'd it have to be Epstein? Anyways, uh, thank you very much. Please use furniture and clothes at your home. I don't have a home. <laughs> I don't get to have my own home. Uh, your name is Leela Sanders. The sun will dry everything quickly. Malibu or Mississippi River? Uh, Malibu. Me too. Well, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> cool. Anyways, uh, I mean, we got a barber pole. I can only think of, like, one person that would want a barber pole, right? That's that's Mr. and Mrs. Epstein. I'm going to talk to Mrs. Epstein. I think I'd rather do that. Uh, pretty peaceful. Introduce me. Someone that runs a hospital. Demi German at the Denner's. Okay. Dude. Honestly, like, you're the fucking best. I wish I could give you a present, because I actually do have a present that I wanted to give you. Epstein. Or, not Epstein. D Dennis, people. Uh, I don't remember which one it was. Was it you? Introduce me. Hospital. Director of the dental school? Uh... Uh... Why won't you give it to me now? Um, what is it? Can you introduce me to a hospital person? You don't know much, but more bar my workmate. Okay. I like making collages. Well, bye-bye for now. Uh, you're not too useful. What's the problem? Introduce me, solve complaints. What about a gas station then? There's no one in town that can solve this complaint. Okay, well. I mean, I didn't really want another dentist office, but, like... Do you know someone with cash on acquaintance? Nelson helps at the dental school. Please introduce me. Thank you. Okay. So, this is a hospital here. Right? So, we want it to be, like, on the other side of town or something. Um, That seems awfully close. So, maybe, like... So if it's there, maybe like up here, like right here next to this park. Sure. Why not? Whatever. Patent office? I don't know what we need a patent office in town for, but I'm sure it's important to somebody for some reason. So uh, it can go right here. Seafood shop? Do we have a seafood shop? I think we do, actually, now that I think about it. Butcher shop. Elderly home with... Oh, it's three, though. I think we're going to have to give up on our dream of having a uh, an all-elderly square here, man. It's just taking too long. Instead, we're going to put two pizza parlors. Because <laughs> everyone needs 16 million pizza parlors. And you know what? Let's get some more Chinese noodle shops. <laughs> uh, I've given up. We're just we're just putting things down. Uh, da -da -da, another pizza parlor. Uh, you know, okay, let's let let's let some of this stuff grow up. 
And then, okay, so we got... We got some of the stuff in that we wanted to get in, so that's good. We still need a gas station and a... Um, gas station and a park, though. Another park. So... Good morning. Long way from the park. Not really. Um, could you maybe tell me somebody that runs a fucking park? That's what I thought. You were just watching the news. All right, goodbye. Well, yeah, goodbye to you too. Um, da -da -da -da. Ooh, call from Ward. Answer. Hello, this is Ward from the Chinese New Bar. You invited a hospital. Yes, I did. Kinda. I mean, apparently it's a dentist school, but same thing, right? From family amusement. Uh, I will try to get family amusement. Wouldn't that be a park? <laughs> If you ever want to talk sometime, call me. Okay, well, that's cool. Glad we're friends now. Hey, Cloonies. Family amusement. I'm assuming it's the same. Yeah, same for everyone. How about you, Clark? Do you have any complaints? Wish there was another family amusement. What's going on about public affairs like the hospital, the police, and the playground? It's a lovely day. Okay. Call me whenever. We got their number. That's cool. Uh... But what I really need is if you could introduce me to someone that does family amusement. You don't know much, but Demi Clark. Dude, Demi just left. Demi, get back here. I have a question for you. Uh, you, Yeah, 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 yeah. You wish there was family amusement? Me too. So could you, like, hook me up with someone? Manager of the bookshop? Maybe someday you'll introduce... What do you mean someday? Okay, we're friends now, so you'll tell me now, right? Yo, jeez, I didn't mean to, like, jump all the way over there. Can I help you? Yes. I know I literally just asked you. Yes! Thank you. Okay, so we got Burke, who apparently owns a bookshop. But, like, we have a bookshop, like, right there. You guys really aren't that far from it. So I don't know why you need another one. Is that one not good enough for you? I don't understand, but it's fine. Whatever. Um, let's get some more of these homes in place, I guess. Let's build up our town a little bit. Uh, I kind of want the road to come back this way. I guess those will have to be like two places. Um... Let's just get more people in here in general, I think. So you're a size three. Okay, I'll tell you what. We want... I think that's... Yeah, that should be big enough for the road. So you can go there. And then... You can go there. And then... You can go there. Do I, I need another size three? What else is size three? A Yoshinoa. That's like the only size 3 thing, then whatever. It can go here. Nice waterfront pop property. Should be super nice. Uh, I need to build roads for y'all. The boss, he's probably angry at me. I didn't do it, boss. This town's population has grown. Now you'll meet people to help with complaints. However, there are some professions that they can't introduce you to. I already know who they are. If you can bring them to this town, they'll help you fix complaints. Well, do your best. Good luck. Oh... Wait, did you just, like, bring people here that specifically are, like, just made to fix complaints? What do you want, Dennis? You invite a family? Yes, I got family amusement for you. You're welcome. I know, I'm the greatest person ever. Yay. Holy fuck, everyone's calling me. Hello, this is Marquet from the planning company. Why can't you solve the gas? Hurry up and sort it out. What are you- I'm trying. What are you doing? Fuck all, I bet. Piece of shit. Um... Anyway, sorry. Sorry you had to see me like that. Alright. Uh, da, da 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 Email. The dude just, like, told me there's a bunch of new people. Elderly homes, preschool, printing company, internal medicine. <sighs> None of these are a fucking gas station, though. Internal medicine. I mean, nobody's asked for that. People have been asking for a playground, though. Um, and there's already one playground there, so in that case, I feel like we should probably put one on this side of town. Like, here-ish. So we'll get a playground there. 
I don't think anyone's asked for a printing company or a school for that matter, but let's go ahead and get a preschool in here. Sure, right there. That should, that should help, right? Call from boss. Hello, boss. Shame those residents move out. Sometimes you can't do anything. It's necessary to keep communication open and check how things are going. Please be more careful next time. When people move out, they can't return to the same map. I wish you luck. What the fuck do you mean? Pizza's always good and they have tooth emerging. At least they can get taken care of. Yeah, that's true. Very true, man. Who moved out? Is it the fucking planning people? The planning company? Because, like, I didn't get them a gas station fast enough or whatever? No. They're still here. They're not happy. It's very inconvenient without a gas station. I know this. Maybe you should fucking tell me somewhere that I can get a gas station then, man. Carson family's not home. Well, I can't see what your complaint is if you're not fucking home. You know that? Yes, I did. I'm off to the takeout lunch to buy a snack pack. Well, then later. Okay, well, you're not very helpful. Hi, Lindsay. Your stream. Yes, I am. Hi. Oh, Lindley. Lindley Keith, what's the problem? Do you have any complaints? We're a long way from the police. Please, can you build us a police? Is that possible? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. I can actually build police. We did We did get another police station person in. So that should take care of like some of these people's problem. Um, so police can go right fucking there for all I care. What else are there? What other complaints do we have? Have I met you? Tougher take out lunch. Can I help you? Now, who are you? My name is Kenzo Tuffer. Well, take care. You too. Can I help you talk? Is there something you need? My name is Linda Wagner. I'm going to do laundry. Credit payment or cash? Cash. Me too. Yeah. Actually, I prefer cards, but you know, I figured they would prefer credit. Uh, or cash, I mean. Anyways, I will take a uh, stamina lunch. Yes, please. Would you like anything else? Oh, it's, it's a takeout place. So I didn't actually eat it. I took it out. Oh, hello again, kiddo. Thank you very much. You invited a family amusement. Uh, introduce me to a gas station, please. Oh my God. Please call me because we are buddies now. Okay. I just, I need someone that knows where the gas station is. Oh, I can buy myself a home. No, I can't. <laughs> I lied. Never mind. Uh, I, I'm not looking for a home. I'm actually looking for... Wait, can you not, like, recommend? Do you have any complaint? We're a long way from the police. I'm, I'm giving you a police right now. So, like, chill. Um, all right, then. Well, goodbye to you, too. Welcome. What kind of home are you looking for? I am seriously, like, just looking for a, uh, a fucking gas station. Like, that's, that's all I need in life. Yes, I am stream. Hi, Sydney Hill. Actors or singer? Singer. You like actors. Well, we fucking hate each other now, so you're not going to be helpful. <laughs> I'm not looking for a home. Yes, I got family amusement. Introduce me, solve complaints, someone that runs a fucking gas station. <laughs> Nobody knows. You realtors. You don't know anybody that can run a fucking gas station for us? It shouldn't be that hard. Brown family. Okay. Brown family's not home. Well, they're all happy now, so that's good. Hello, this is Keith from the Employee Home with Stairs. You invited police, haven't you? I'm glad. Yeah, me too. Me fucking too. Uh, you're like glowing why is it glowing I haven't met you hi Joseph nice weather huh see you next time you too uh Vera Adachi hi you gonna draw with your friends um do you like a stamina lunch you don't want that oh well fine <laughs> last time I offer food to you Jeez, some people are just so rude. I don't suppose, like, a gas station is just wanting to come in of its own accord, right? <laughs> My church shouldn't be a convenience store. That's nice. Elderly home, size 2, if only you weren't, like, a little bit earlier. Oh. All right, well, fuck. I was really hoping to make these people happy, but 
Shiny my forehead. Uh, knickerbockers or sweatpants? Sweatpants. You like knickerbockers. Well, wouldn't want to be you. Wow. Amy Burns. All right, think about it. Amy, wait, don't go. I have a question. I feel like taking a siesta. I feel that, but goodbye. Um, nice to meet you. What is it? Nice to finally meet you on Man and Burns. I guess the weather forecast was wrong. See you. But, but little, little dude, do you... No, no one can fucking introduce me to anyone. I guess because I probably don't, like, know them yet. All right. Uh, one more thing, though. I have... Well, might as well eat this thing on lunch. We bought that... Pole. We bought that barber pole, but it didn't seem to like do anything. Like I can't do anything with it, even though we bought it. Hello. I want to be a doctor. I was playing with a cute cat. That's cool, man. Can I help you? Talk. You're stream, aren't you? Nice to finally meet you. You're Brady Y. Burt. Great weather, huh? It's so hot that you're sweating. Do you know that when you cry, it's your heart sweating? I don't think that's true. Um... But, okay. What do you sell here? Business book? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Do you like anything else? Would a business book happen Will it to be, like, something I can use? Shopping bag? Business book. How to be a winner during recession. Nope. Okay, that... <laughs> I was hoping maybe, like, it would tell me, like, uh, uh, about businesses... So maybe, like, I could find uh, vacation houses. Uh, a gas station, but I guess not. Would you like a business book? Thanks for the gift. You're welcome. You're stream, aren't you? Yeah, nice finding me channel on Priscilla Valley. I don't care. Ice cream or sorbet? Definitely ice cream. Ice cream is so much better. Is there a problem? No, I just kind of wanted to see if you knew people, but I guess you don't know anyone. Like, at all. Oh, the patent office. Oh, apparently I already know these guys. Keep seeing you around, it's weird. Thank you very much, you've invited family amusement. I have. Could you maybe help me out by telling me where a fucking gas station is? <laughs> Nobody knows, man. Okay, well, sadly, I think we gotta give up, man. <laughs> Oh, these are the people that moved. So sad. Uh, tell you what, this is what we do whenever people move out. We put a seafood shop on top of where they used to live. Get fucked. <laughs> pizza on pizza. Hi. Oh, it's a cat. Meow, meow. 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 We met a cat. It's just a permanent resident here. That's cool. Honestly. I like that. That's nice. I wish I wasn't constantly getting stuck on stuff. Uh, okay. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I think we got to call it here, man. It's uh, it's after our normal ending time. And, uh, yeah. This is all going to shit anyway, so... <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna save it here. How the fuck do we save? Right here. Save or quit. Save. Now check in memory card. While we're doing that, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I played this absolutely adorable and ridiculous game. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. Uh, I would love to play more of this game. I don't know if it's a good game to play on stream. Although, I certainly had fun with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end up playing more of this one in my free time nonetheless. Anyways... I'm going to get off here, get a shower, spend some time with the amazing Mr. Noodle. Uh, you all have a wonderful night. Good night, Optijack. I didn't even know you were still here, bud. But have a good night, man. Bye-bye, y'all. Fine, so. We'll take it. <laughs> then he just penguins down the sewer pipe.